a Rinush Legalair is a Norvor Domsa Marvera, Falcha, a Kariv Gachtin, a Gdiaras and Kunte, Erno Kod, Untuch, Tartuk Shainov. CEO Moira, Directors of Service, Staff of Kerry County Council, Members of the Press, Fellow Councillors, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is indeed a very great pleasure for me as Cahirlik of Kerry County Council and Mayor of Kerry to welcome you all here today on this most auspicious occasion the ratification and formation of local government here in our county for the next five years, 2019 to 2024. We, who are the 33 councillors, gather here today mindful of the inordinate privilege and awesome responsibility that is ours, called as we are, both in service and servitude, to our county and to her people. As Cahirlik, I extend a very warm welcome to all councillors here today, both the new and indeed the not so very new. I look forward to working with all of you going forward, both individually and collectively, as we seek to best serve and shape the county we love. As we celebrate the formation of this council, I am mindful too of former councillors and former colleagues who served on this local authority but who were not successful at the polls on May 24th last. Their service to this chamber is neither diminished nor tarnished by their failure to be re-elected. And so with gratitude and admiration I call to mind the names of former councillors Pat McCarthy, John Sheehan, Damien Quigg, John Lucid and Thomas McEllistrom. Theirs is a legacy of honourable service to this county, and for that I thank them and wish them well in the days and months and indeed the years ahead. As my term of office as Cahirlock of Kerry County Council draws to a close shortly, I wish with your indulgence to take a brief few moments to reflect on what has been without doubt the single greatest honour of my political career to date. Theodore Roosevelt tells us, and I quote, far and away the best prize that life has to offer is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. As first citizen these past 12 months, it has been my privilege to work hard and to the very best of my ability to promote, enhance and advance the county at every possible opportunity. A whole myriad of developments have added greatly to this county over the past 12 months. Infrastructural improvements included a 53 million investment in the county's roads, the opening of a new phase of the N86 Toledo Dingle Road in November last, and the N70 Kilderry Benz scheme between Milltown and Kilorglan in April of this year. Further progression of the rollout of the Council's 62 million housing programme, particularly the building programme including the opening of the new 20 bed list and ES scheme in Killarney, 15 units in the Mitchells Regeneration programme in Tralee, a number of works in progress including 21 units at Killeen and the 28 units currently being progressed at Balloonock Tralee. The opening of the new 30 million water treatment plant at Lakatan, improving supply to half the homes and businesses in the county was also a red letter day for this county. There has also been significant progress in economic and enterprise development in Kerry in recent times. The exciting development of the Agritech Centre in North Kerry and the innovative RDI hub in Kilorglan are two hugely promising initiatives. We have also seen funding provided to grow and nurture our award-winning enterprise hubs in Sneem, Castle Island and Dingle. All of these initiatives bring with them huge employment potential for the county. I would also like to both acknowledge and applaud the role of our Institute of Technology, the Kerry Technology Park and the Tom Crean Business Centre. There is no doubt but they are key economic drivers in our county. I welcome in particular the opening of the new and magnificent Sports Academy, a development which has to be both a sporting and cultural boon to our county. The Invest in Kerry brand developed by Kerry County Council and the IDA is another key element in our drive to attract foreign direct investment to Kerry. Particular success in this regard this past year has been the creation of 100 jobs over five years by Central Pharma and the announcement of a further 100 jobs coming on stream at JRI America. This past year has also provided opportunities to grow and further develop links with new markets. It has been my privilege to host a visiting delegation for the Zhejiang province of China. 
I am hopeful this province with a population in excess of 54 million will continue to foster links which can only benefit our tourist, educational and agricultural industries. I also experienced firsthand this year the infinite potential of strengthening ties with the Irish diaspora, particularly in England and the United States. Strong Kerry representation, particularly in London and New York, opens many doors for this county and provides wonderful opportunities to present the attractiveness of our county as a destination for both tourism and business. However, if I were to choose one highlight from my term as mayor, it would perhaps be the opportunity it provided to view firsthand the wonderful spirit of volunteerism that thrives so spectacularly here in Kerry. I am conscious that the hurly-burly and frantic pace of life in 2019 does not indeed make it easy for people to find the time or make the time for community. And yet hundreds, indeed thousands of people, the length and breadth of this county, do just that. I am reminded of the wisdom of the Welsh human rights activist Elizabeth Andrews who tells us volunteers do not necessarily have the time, they just have the heart. We as a county are blessed beyond measure by the generosity of heart and spirit of so many who fuel a whole myriad of organisations, projects and initiatives and all for the benefit of this county. As I begin to conclude, I would like to thank the CEO Moira Murrell and the management and staff of Kerry County Council for their unstinting support and unfailing courtesy to me during this past year. A particular word of thanks to my council colleagues for your good humour and cooperation, particularly in the running of meetings. I am most grateful. A word of thanks too to the press for your many courtesies to me throughout the year. Finally, to my family, a huge thank you. The year would never have been possible without your endorsement and support. A particular word of thanks to my mother, my sisters and brother and their families, and most importantly, my husband, Dennis, who joins me today. He is not just my right-hand man, indeed, he is my left-hand man also. And I thank him for his unswerving and dedicated support always in everything that I do. The final words I leave to the bard himself, William Shakespeare, who advises, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day thou canst not then be false to any man. It is my fervent hope that in my term as mayor, as mayor, I have proved myself true both to the county of Kerry and to her people. Gurr Mahagwyf Galeer.